Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to switch your network printing between the TCP and RPC on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in group policy, best match, or come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. And underneath computer configuration, you want to double click on the folder that says administrative templates. Double click on it. it should be a printers folder in here. Just left click on that one time. On the right side, locate a value that says configure RPC connection settings and double click on that. Like I said, you want to set this to enabled. Again, this is to configure RPC connection settings, by the way, if it wasn't pretty obvious. So anyway, make sure you set it to enabled. And then underneath where it says protocol to use for outgoing RPC connections, click on the drop down here. You can choose either RPC over TCP or RPC over named pipes. Make your selection, and then you want to select apply and OK. And then after you've configured the RPC connection settings, you can then configure the RPC listener settings right underneath to your configuration choice as well by enabling that. And then you can again change the protocols for incoming RPC connections as well. Remote procedure call connections basically and make your selection choices through there. It's a pretty straightforward process on that. And if you close out of there, you can also configure the RPC over the TCP port by selecting the following option on that list. Again, enable that. And you can adjust the port right here by typing that in and then again applying OK. And that's a pretty straightforward process on that, guys, on how to make those configuration choices. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. You would need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect at this point. So go ahead and restart. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.